I had visited Radio Canada also. Mm. They had a building much like this. <clears throat> yeah, this for, oh gosh, 20 years just sat here open with the wind blowing under it. And it gave us a real fit right, right at the point of freezing. And the temperature was just about freezing. All this stuff is, these cylinders are air aquated. And of course, the air would, uh, if you get the moisture in there, that would freeze. And uh, it would cause the uh, air cylinders to leak. Have to come out and turn the air off, let them stop, and then turn the air back on. But uh, each of these has got uh, two air cylinders here. There's one set 45 degree angle, one set uh, vertical. And it takes two of those. They break the bar of the lines for the transmitter runs across the top all the way down to the back end. The lines for the antenna run across under them. I see. And then this is a, a switch arm that uh, breaks the upper line and drops it down breaks the bottom line and moves it up, and then there's a little jumper piece that connects the two so that we can theoretically put in the antenna on the transmit. So those are what, air, air operated? Air operated. Those mm -hmm. pistons like? Mm-hmm. They're little, oh, little yeah, I uh, see it. rams. And the switches are actually above the ceiling? <clears throat> the switches are up in the ductwork there. Oh, in the ductwork. That's, that's actually... Uh, up, uh, channels through there. And, uh, oh, I see. I see the ductwork. And uh, it's all uh, aluminum paddled so that uh, it acts like a great big uh, uh, twin coax, I guess you would call it. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a ductwork. See, those are the transmitter numbers. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> when you get out here, they, of course, they don't follow just straight across because they're, they're plumbed in here as the way that makes the uh, uh, ducks work best coming out of the house. So when you get in here, they're shuffled all around. You have trouble with the one come running out here. If you don't have the numbers, there's so much stuff in here, it's hard to locate yourself. Yeah, I imagine. You've got the transmitter numbers down the side and the antenna numbers up along the... We have... Uh, about half of them go out this side, and the other half go the other side over there. Run. Okay, great. The circuitry comes out here underground, and it's controlled cables. That's relatively small stuff. It's like telephone, I think there's a couple of 500 pair of cables or something like that. I remember in the movie, I remember you opened the center door and you walked into it. You could actually mm -hmm. walk into this thing. Yeah, this is uh, actually the transmitter's here. And down here is the uh, water monitor system. All of this is the flow monitor system. Is this water cooled? Yeah. Ah. All of this is the flow monitor for the uh, cooling system. Running now? No, no, it's in standby right this minute. And, uh, you know, all that noise, that's the water going through it? Oh, now? yeah, the water's running through it. It's almost wrong, the water's running through it. We run the water through it, unless we take it down to work on it, that water runs through it uh, 24 hours a day. It's going to stay on. What are these, like regulators or valves or something? Uh, yeah, this is a flow meter. Actually, you notice most of them don't have graduation, but this. Uh, tells us just how much is flowing in that circuit. We've got one here that's a constant source of problems. You'll notice it just is above the, really? the line, and uh, every so often we have to go in there and blow the residue out of the, out of the uh, line to get that back up. Because it will shut the transmitter down. 
kind of wiggling around a little bit. The other side of this thing was the modulator section had a couple of tubes in it. And I think we went up with the solid state modulator. That was just a couple of big empty caps. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So. So the modulator is pretty much a stepping kind of yeah. thing? Or? Mm -hmm. it, uh, it's back here. I can Yeah, I have that problem too. We got, uh, there's 48 supplies. And each of these supplies is uh, about a thousand volts. And they're constantly switching on and off. switching on supplies until it gets all it wants. Then it starts switching one off and one on, one off, one on, and, and cycles all the way through them. Okay. As you uh, tell it you want more, it just switches more on than it switches off. Oh, I see. Or the other way, for, for modulation, you, it switches on more and more and go up and down. But it's always constantly cycling through them so that the duty cycle on all of them is the same. And you notice out of these little LEDs, one of them is out right now. It means that supply is out, so it's just bypassing. Which one? Which LED? The red there? The, no, the little green ones. This oh. is the status of all those supplies. Oh, I see. And that red one means one is out. No, the red one is uh, that. That means that uh, it's turned off. Oh, I see. The uh, inhibitor is on. <laughs> 